One of the first things that I want you to notice about problem number 23 on your test one review, I just noticed here as I was making up the answer key for you that there's a very tiny typo on the test itself. What I'd like you to do on your actual test copy that you're looking at is on the very first line in question number 23 you see L equals and then you see three ordered pairs written there. Even though it's really a very minor thing, I like to be mathematically accurate on my tests. Apparently, I didn't catch the typo. There should be set brackets around those ordered pairs because a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So what I want you to do, follow me to your paper if you would. First thing I want you to do is to go to my paper and let's, let's you know, let's math, mathematics is a language. Let's be correct. Put these set brackets around these ordered pairs. Okay, that'll make me happy. Now, L is a relation, meaning it's a collection of ordered pairs. If I want to find the domain of L, the domain is another name for the X values. It's another name for the input. One little trick I want to show you is notice that the word domain, the last two letters of it are in. Okay? It's kind of a clever little trick. So the domain is the set of all things that go into the relation. So in this case, it would be the set containing 2, negative 3, and there's no reason to list 2 again since we already have it listed. You don't repeat things in a set. So that would be my domain. The range is the set of outputs, which is also the set of Y values in this case, and that would be the set made up of 9, 6, and 15. One thing I want to point out to you in the answer to part A and part B, the order in which you put these does not matter because in a set, order doesn't matter. Now the last part of this question is exceptionally important. A relation is a collection of ordered pairs, but certain relations are functions. And a function is a very special kind of relation. A function is a relation where when you put in an x value, it, it, pairs, <laughs> it pairs itself with only one y value as an answer. So, I want you to follow me up here, look at this. If I'm trying to decide if L is a function, 2 promises itself to 9. Kind of think of this like relationships, okay? Negative 3 promises itself to 6, and then 2 all of a sudden is promising itself to 15, and if, you know, if my brain's working, 2 just promised itself to 9 back here. So you know what we need to do? First of all, is this a function? No. And what we need to do is we need to call the cheater show. Because the reason this is not a function is in this particular problem, the number 2 has lied, okay? And the reason it's lied, or the way we can tell it's lied, 2 promises forever to pair itself with 9. And then look at this. One day later, 2 is out with 15. That is just not going to cut it. So shame on number 2. But for that reason, it is not a function. A mathematical way of saying it is, if an x value pairs itself with two or more different y values, the relation that you're looking at is not a function.